to round four of five here at Nerd Rage Gaming. We've got FNM tonight, and back in the feature match area, we've got Dan Cardenas and his Jess Gallagher list versus Justin Brickman and his Esper Dragons. Yep. So this will be a matchup that uh, I know people in the chat were talking about earlier, whether or not we had an Esper Dragons part. player in the field. We do. There he is. So we'll get to see this Jess Gallagher list that we know was kind of built here to handle uh, a deck very similar to Esper Dragons. And it's not the yeah, Eternal I mean, Red that we thought. Handles but. a lot of stuff, really. Yes, it does. A uh, little update on the Matt Dow Ben Sliwa situation. Oh, yeah. Not playing each other this round. Both. If they win, both they're in the finals, but yep. they are both 3 0. So we can look forward to possibly seeing something like that. They just both gotta win. Coincidentally, I think this will be a pretty good matchup. Uh, both players here pretty well structured with their decks. Yep. Uh, Justin oh, yep. having played Esper Dragons last FNM, Dan, a huge fan of the Jess Gyagro Patriot Missile deck kind of put together by his friend Tommy. Yep. He's had a fair good amount of practice with it, so hopefully we'll get to see some good magic this round. It won't be a... Uh, won't be just a one-sided slow bleed that Abzan and no, Ben no. Sliwa present. I don't, last. I don't believe so. No, I believe this. Well, I believe this game will go either very fast or get dragged out, mm -hmm. and uh, you can wager a pretty good guess as to uh, which deck is favored in either of those situations. Oh yeah. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it breaks. For the sake of time and ease, I'm I'm just hoping this round goes quick. I would think so, but uh, you know, not not calling any shots. I, I've not yet. No, it's no. This is a dangerous knows, matchup man. to call shots. It so is. We do see that Dan Cardenas did take a mulligan, goes down to six here. Has to find the land he needs. I don't know if he has a planes though. With a base. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's close though. You can't just count on one basic of every color. Brickman's going to gain one off the dismal backwater. Go to 21 here. Dan takes a draw, drops a mountain. I believe he'll just pass the turn back. Yeah, nothing. Uh, not Can't. a lot of turn one plays uh, in this standard. Wow, is that yeah. a main board foul tongue invocation in oh, Justin yeah. Brickman's hand? Yeah, absolutely. Is that main board now? That's the tech, Holy my friend. Cow. Welcome to the show. That card is is very good that is uh, true. against singleton threats. Very good against uh, the, the heroic decks yeah. in nature, which arguably, you know, one just top just one actually sure. yeah the scg so the deck has some consideration also just good in general i mean yeah. gaining four life as a control deck uh, prime target here in soul fire for uh, justin if he wants it yep. looks like he's gonna lead with a thought okay i get, like this play yeah get a little info it's good let's take a peek at the uh ag aggressive jeskai deck oh, wow. in here that is two additional soul fire grandmasters i wow. believe Looks like a Stoke the Flames or at least well. one. Yeah, so one Soulfire, one Stoke, uh, a Stormbreath Dragon, and two white Obscured cards. Uh, I think one of them's a, a Valoris Stance. Yep. And something else. So we see Soulfire Grandmaster, yeah, Soulfire two Grandmaster, Soulfires, yeah. Valoris Stance, the Stoke the Flames, and the Stormbreath Dragon. Yeah. Holy cow. Wow. That is gas. There is not a lot of mana, though. Well, right. There's gas on board, but no truck. to yeah. put it in. We need something, <laughs> Dan. You got to find a tank. You can't just you can't splash you can't gas just have on the all table. the gas. That's right. Oh, jeez. Well, Justin, uh, definitely with a pretty clear game plan here, and I think that's deploy, deploy some manas, and uh, just hope Dan doesn't <laughs> doesn't draw the stuff. The question is, does he? So he doesn't. Okay, so we have a fetch, so we can keep up Silmgar score in here. Yep. Dan finding his land. Let's go to combat first. Good choice. Yep. It's a little drain and gain. I like it, baby. First time we get to see Soulfire do something. Yeah, so finally. That's exciting. It wasn't removed immediately. Yep. Dan, Dan. perfect mana Look off the that. top. America, like salute a, it, baby. Like a boss. Doesn't run out any other threats, though. That's good. Let's yeah. hold them back. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they're just gonna get countered. Mana confluence. But now, now you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. Sure. What do you want to start countering, and what am I gonna start baiting with? And look at this. Soulfire doing work though. Justin just letting the damage pour through. Beat and eat. I like it. Drain and gain. No, it's fair to note that he does have the foul tongue invocation here. I don't think we're really looking to cast that. Yeah, he's he's waiting right for now. a spot for sure. Definitely uh, some higher targets with that. Uh, yep. Stormbreath Dragon comes to mind. But if he doesn't deal with the Soulfire, uh, it's just going to... So, wow. Dan, in response to the fetch, yep. is going to go ahead and attempt to fire off the Stoke the Flames. Yeah. So we got a double fetch from Justin. Yep. So he's taking two. 
going to take an additional four with no uh, answer to that. So why Dan's going to gain four more off of lifelink. Justin with a s eight. So All I right. guess Justin with uh, probably no scorn might have a dissolve. So Dan, good on him for responding to the cracks. I yeah. guess. Well, I'm sorry, Justin at nine. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, so he was at 13, right? 13, or close yes. to it. Yeah, so that makes sense. Takes four, goes to nine. Was at 15, fetched twice. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Playing aggressive, Dan. Dang. No, I mean, it seems good, though. That was his window for sure. Yep. And there, there you go. You saw it. Justin lining up a downfall for that uh, singleton soul fire. Mm -hmm. Probably lining up his foul tongue for Dan's next threat. Sure. So that makes sense. I so. hope he's not saving the foul tongue until he gets a dragon, because that just seems like it's not well, where I want to be. I don't... Yeah. It's a good It's a good line, but... It's a good line now, anyways, that he's being pressured thought, so much. I thought Dan was going to slam the Storm Breath here. Yeah, I don't agree. I don't think you slammed Storm Breath yet. Not yet? Nah. You've got two other Soul Fires in your hand. I guess we... Oh, he could play around here and wait until Justin tries to go and if... He, well, he has no white either, so if he yeah. does try and land like in a Jutai or something like that, we can just punch the Storm Breath through, which is a good line. Yeah, exactly. Definitely waiting for Justin to make a big play here. Not going to counter. Nope, still not not interested in these Soul Fires, not interested in Foul Tonguing anything. He has the Foul Tongue. He, he yeah. has it as the first card in his hand. He's debating, but he's waiting I, for I think it. he's looking for the Dragon so he can make sure he gets that 4 life. Yeah. Unfortunately, if Dan starts like Rip and I mean, Burn here... Yeah, if it doesn't come... Oh, we just do a Thunder Break region, too. Get in for two. Yeah. Seems good. Man, Soulfire Grandmaster just doing work. It is. It's a great card. Dan showing some patience by not just running them all out yep. into the face of a Bioblight. What have you. So, Dan looks like he's going to go with Thunder Break, which right. I think is good bait. Totally. That, that cannot stick. It does a lot for us here, also. Yeah. We know Justin's off white. Yeah. Uh, so, it can do a few things. It looks like it can save us from a uh, Crux of Fate if Justin yep. decides to do that next turn, as he has to obviously choose between the Soul Fire and the Dragon. Yep, it makes Foul Tongue a little worse. Yep. It so, uh, I would hope it's it just demands a counter spell if he has it. I think. I hope Justin's doing this in response to the cast. I believe so. If he's looking for a counter spell. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just, sure. Yeah. So we're just gonna dissolve it. I think that's your most efficient play. Yeah. Not the best thing to be countering Dan's creatures when you have removal in your mm -hmm. deck, but in that in that situation, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Your life's low, your opponent's threatening you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take the that line. I think. might as well fire it off. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, that that thunder break doing any amount of damage is yeah yikes. So well, I think Justin here is like on Ugin or bust. Really? Looks like he's got Ugin, Foul Tongue, and an Unknown. Um, still hasn't fired off Foul Tongue. And again, in the face of Dan's one creature, if Dan decides to deploy something else, sure, uh, that card just gets a little, little worse. So uh, once again, Justin just considering it, I think. How much work are you going to let the Soulfire do? It's done a ton. Yeah. So finally we're going to pull the trigger on this thing. Yep, no dragon to reveal. Oh, that man. thing is just if dead. I was, if I was Dan and I had like counterspell backup, I'd be going bananas. Yep, not right away. I imagine if game two, I'm sure we'll see yep. quite a bit. If third Soulfire makes an appearance. I mean, I just can't think he's got so much mana that he could have just, he could have like countered it, yep. gained it back with Soulfire. It yeah, awesome. <laughs> seems good. <laughs> Seems just fine. Doesn't look like we're on Ugin Town yet. No, what card like do we have in our? Do we have we have a Hero's Downfall? It's got in downfall, game. Crux, Ugin. Oh jeez. So. Yep. Yeah, Dan's. Dan, you gotta have a follow up here, baby. Dan's getting those uh, three three remove or three mana removal spells out of his hand for two mana. Seems oh, fine. What do we draw? Looks like didn't get there again. Looks like more reaction. Land. Ah, oh, there we go. Does Dan not have a Storm Breath in hand? Am I like crazy? Um. I, yeah, I think he does. He keeps he's just yeah, not he's playing it. He's drawing cards. Oh, so we have a Bramaz here. He's yeah, he's waiting for the tap out. I mean, I'm, but but if he taps out to play the Ugin, what what is well, Stormbreath doing for us? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, Stormbreath gets in for four at best. Drops him to four, and then we're, we're and then, live yeah. to Stoke, I guess. I guess if he has it. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think Dan's in the wrong for just not jamming Stormbreath. Um. 
Because, I mean, every turn Justin has all his mana up. He's not doing anything. Yeah. Um, but we did just play it into the Foul Tongue, so... Yeah. Yeah, so not great. Dan, yeah, so you're right. Dan kind of waited too long yeah. and then got greedy too early. Well, that's just, the thing. We, if we you're drew, waiting, you're waiting. We Wait drew Bermaz. Why didn't we just play the Bermaz yeah, when I we agree. had the chance? I agree. I, I just play Bermaz instead. And now Ugin is just in the clear. Right, to just go ham. Now we can play yeah, the Bramaz. I'd, I'd much but... rather have a Stormbreath in my hand with a killed Bramaz from an Ugin minus. So we drew a uh, Thunderbreak Regent, which just gets us nowhere. Yeah, unfortunately. Unless Justin decides to bolt it over the course of yeah. his next three turns. Uh, which would just be... I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> I think he still has a Crux just in for hand, For no too. reason, yeah, exactly. It's not... I think, uh, yeah, we're in... We're getting to stabilization town here. Okay, so we're going to play the Bermaz this turn, we see. Yeah, that seems not great. I mean, if Ooh. I'm Justin, can I... I mean, I think I'm just going up on the... Yeah. Ugin. I don't even think I... Do I care about the Bermaz? I guess going to attack me? I don't think so. Not if he's... I think he's got a, a downfall, right? Uh, it's either a downfall or crux. I believe it's both. <laughs> oh, did he just draw the... I think nah, so he drew a foul tongue like last turn for that sure. storm breath and then still had downfall crux, so it looks like he's just cruxing away. Leading with his more expensive. Ooh, we drew a storm breath. Oh, but we don't have enough mana to cast the storm breath and then play the uh Yeah uh, the Thunder Break. Oh man. Unfortunate. Ugh. So if if, if this mean, last card is the downfall that, that you Yeah is it? I think so. Uh Oh, nope. nope, it's a Silumgar score. All right, well, that's just as good. So we got to pay that one. Burn the one. All right. He does not count as a dragon. Nope. That is just Ugin. Just pay the one. Yep, go down to 19. Making, a, making Dan sink so his mana ate, a bit. But we did. We ate the card out of his hand. Swing at him. Don't let him ultimate. Seems fine. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Do we, we just, just go to the do dome? Do we just go to the dome here? Depends. If Dan has Stoken Hand, I think. I think I hit his face, but I think I don't, yeah I don't think I care about Nugan Ultimate in this deck. No, no. What's he gonna? He's okay. He'll get Ojutai, maybe Silumgar, Dragon Lord Silumgar. I kind of care about uh, that, but I don't know. It's no. Yeah, well, either way, Dan's hitting Ugin. I guess we kind of force him here. Like if he if he has to kill the Storm Breath, he has to remove a ton. Yeah. And right. You, so now he's go. down to two. Uh, that Storm Breath is exiled. Yep. <laughs> No one. We gotta. We gotta remember how that storm breath works. No one. Uh, no one. So Dan like going the Ugin claws. now to play a thunder break region. Yeah. And is this is a card that. Oh man. Well, you can't Ugin it a, uh, right away, so that's a start. But this uh, has to deal eight damage pretty soon. I think it can. Uh, Coincidentally, I mean. Well, looks like Justin's got a bio blight, which he can save himself some. Di well, no, he no, can't. No, he can't. Still takes three. Right. Dang. So the the play here is, I think, for uh -oh. Dan. You well, cast. So Justin has to plus Ugin and yep. then my, and then cash it in. And that's assuming Dan just attacks Justin. Right. But oh, I think if you're smart here, Dan just has to take out Ugin now. With I think, unfortunately. Buys him a yep, turn, there you but go. he has to kill Ugin. But yeah. now he can play the second Thunder Break. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. That's, uh... <laughs> so now Justin casts a spell to remove either Thunder Break, and he's taking yeah. six. Yeah, he knows yep. it. Yep. All right. Man. Dan Cardenas, in the face of Ugin the Spirit Dragon, just doesn't care. Yeah. Just, he says, I'm going to push through the games. Well, yeah, I mean, arguably a little uh, missequence in the creatures he okay. played there. Okay, sure. Still was just dropping quality threats every turn. I mean, that Eventually was, was just able to close it out. We saw that one play where he dealt uh, Justin six yeah. off of him double fetching and then stoking him. That was a good. That was a good line. Dan that, taking yeah, advantage I mean, of the control player not was, having mana available. Yeah, that was definitely uh, the juncture. All right, play of the game. I'd Let say. Let me see. You got Dan's over there. I'll go over Justin's first, as he was the uh, loser of this round with his yep. Esper Dragon deck. We have one Narset the Transcendent. One Dragon Lord's Prerogative, one Negate, one Dragon Lord Silumgar, three Drown in Sorrow, two Foul Tongue Invocation, one Silence the Believers, two Bile Blight, two Thought Seas, one Risen Executioner. And that's it, baby. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So, I guess this sideboard's dependent on what we think Dan's gonna do. Okay. Because I think we're bringing in things like Negates, Prerogatives. Yep. Uh, you know, Dragon Lord Silumgar seems okay. Yeah, he does. Um, if Dan, if he thinks Dan's gonna go a little bit more aggressive, 
maybe taking those drowning sorrows. Maybe something like Silence of the Believers is in bed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. It's, I mean, there's matchups where Silence seems really good. Yeah. But I think that's more against like the green red dragons list, oh, yeah, or, sure. or you know what I mean, like the green white, where where they have so many creatures, where late game is just really good to attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for like something simple, like bring in the two thought seas. Yeah. Bring in. Dragon Lords. I I still think Dragon Lord is a good play here. I mean, I yeah, I like in, him. Bring in Silumgar, prerogative, and sure. maybe two thought seas. I don't know how I feel about the Narset. set. It might be just yeah. too cute for this matchup, and we're assuming Dan can bring in some counter magic, so yeah. I, I don't know if I really want to try to slam and jammer this game. Yeah, agreed. I think we're just change we're just mixing up our threats differently. Our removal from downfall turns into you know, something different. Right. Bring in more thought seasons just to kinda interact with, with our hand. opponent's hand. Yeah. Sure. Maybe get rid of those uh, thunder breaks before Dan gets to cast them. Then we don't have to waste our counter spells on it. Dang. Well, that's pretty much it. It's yeah, it's pretty simple, I think. Alright, well, you got Dan's sideboard. Why don't you rip through it one more time? Alrighty. Dan's got three Disdainful Stroke, one Outpost Siege, two Negates, two Encase and Ice, one Arc Lightning, one Karanos, one Dig Through Time, two Glare of Heresy, and two Barrage of Boulders. So I'm assuming we're bringing in the Disdainful Strokes. Yep. Probably bring them in the Negates. Yep. Outpost Siege seems good here. It does. Dig Through Time I'm probably also liking. Yeah. But then again, I don't... Oh, man. That's, I mean... That's what I want to bring in, but I yeah. don't know if I want to out-control the control deck. That's the problem, you know? But sure. we don't have anything else to make us faster in the sideboard. Yeah, like... So, like, that's that's the I issue I agree. I this have. is, like... This seems like if you start bringing in one of these counter spells, I think you... Have to bring in Want to bring in the other. Right. I think you have to bring in Outpost Siege. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like an all-or-nothing. I don't like not bringing in any counter spells. Sure. I don't like bringing in, like one negate and one disdainful stroke just because we're still trying to keep pressure. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think... I think we... I think I might want to go a little more controlly. All right. Just bring in all those counter spells. We got we got Nerd Herd Chris in the chat right now. He plays Jess Guy as well, often at the shop. What's up, Mr. Smith? So uh, maybe he can cast some insight in the chat room for us as to what he'd like to bring in in this matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to see both players lead off with tap lands here. Justin's going to go to 21 off a of dismal backwater. Dan now trying to resolve a scry off a Temple of Triumph. Going to ship it to the bottom. Doesn't want it. No. Not doing the job he needs it to. Man, I'll Justin tell you. Justin finds land number two. All right. <laughs> Smooth sailing. That seems all right. All not, colors Not unlock. double blue, though. Coincidentally, has... Yeah, not double blue. And that's something we talked about. And here is a card that just did work last game. It yep. will be met with... What a, <laughs> with an anticipate. An anticipate. So Interesting. Okay. That, that baby's resolving. Imagine Justin just looking for the kill spell for sure. it now. I, I for sure thought that was going to be an ultimate price snapped off. But sure. Justin now with double blue unlocked. Temple of Enlightenment. Scry is going to remain on top. Yeah. Caves of Colos and the Temple of Enlightenment lands we didn't see last game as Justin was kept off white almost the entire game. Yeah. Definitely uh, part of his loss there. Sure. I think. Just not being able to play. Although I don't know if he had much white things that were white to work Probably with either. Probably not, so. but... Just, uh... Yep, there's the price you wanted. Yep. Now let's see if Dan has anything to uh, stop this bad boy. That'll be a lightning strike aimed at Justin's dome. Just looking to gain some life, get some value while he can. Yeah. Justin's tapped out. I see no better opportunity. Snap it off. Soulfire Grandmaster taking its trip to the graveyard. Yep. Still gained him three life, so. Coincidentally, though, did Justin have a drowning sorrow in hand? Mm, hard to tell. I believe that's a downfall. We got we got an Urborg. Okay. We got a downfall for sure. I believe an Ajutai and something else. I just have to wonder if that wasn't a turn we could have drowned in sorrow and just sure. killed this guy, save the ultimate price for something better. Right. Mm. Agreed. You know? Yeah, like like maybe this guy. Right yeah, here. or even, even a Stormbreath Dragon or yeah. you know what I mean? Just something. Something yeah. better. If if that's the case, then yes, but I, I don't know if you bring in Drown and Sorrow, honestly. If you're losing to Thunderbreaks and Stormbreaths, yeah. yeah, it seems pretty loose. Well, that's interesting. Bringing a Karenos in from the sideboard to deal with Esper, yeah, that's that's a yeah. card. I mean, that's also just another line of control, too. Sure. Just, yep. Hard to deal with an enchantment. It seems like a very good answer on the five when they play their uh, they play their Ajutai and you drop a Karenos in response next turn as they're tapped out. Yeah. I have to imagine they don't feel really great about that. Can't imagine so. No. Nah. Yeah. Kurt's 
Kurt, last time I checked, the cart's fairly good. The guy will do some work. Uh, I know it made a uh, made a home in the sideboard of my Miracles deck yep. for Legacy, as uh, that card in Legacy also does some work. Yep. Uh, so usually, usually a good indication of a card. Oh, now this is nice here. So we're gonna see a Silimgar score. Oh, disdainful uh, stroke. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Gonna tackle the storm breath dragon here. Dan points to it. Says, "All right, that's fine." Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna get loose with this other dragon Dragon's for four. Yep. Uh, you want to take four take or take three? Yeah. yeah. So I agree with that downfall. Dropping down to fifteen. It's a start. Coincidentally enough, uh, Dan deciding to use the Urborg Justin had played. When tapping the mana confluence. Yeah, good on him. Yeah. That's paying attention to the mana. Uh, so my favorite Dragon Lord just hit the field. Yep. In the form of Dragon Lord Ojuta. That's a 5-4 with Hexproof as long as he's untapped. Yep. Flying. When he deals damage to your opponent, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand, the rest on the bottom in any order. Yep. Welcome to Andrew's favorite Anticipate. dragon. Anticipate. Love it. <laughs> Seems okay. The only way that card could be better is if it's if it when did. Dragon Lord Ojutai yeah. deals damage or attacked. Oh, sure. Stop. Or if you didn't have to tap out to play it, maybe. That would also be good somehow. <laughs> I don't know somehow? how. I don't know how it would work around that, but uh, Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. Yeah. That's how you make yeah, that happen, for my sure. friend. And now we'll see Damn a thunder another break. Yep. Uh, wish it was a storm breath. Mm -hmm. Just crash on through, but. Yeah, again, just another another threat that Justin has to deal with. A must it, answer one too, right? Yeah, before it starts dealing incremental damage to well, him. This could be a foul tongue. Yeah, and Ouch. that's a little brutal. Does Dane have a stubborn denial? God, that'd be great. <laughs> I doubt it. The blowouts would be real. <laughs> yep. Justin's going to go back up to 19. That card is too good. Yes. There's again, a, that's we, why yeah. it's in your main deck, my friend. We've had a lot of talk on this stream about how foul tongue is just incredibly powerful right now in the format. Agreed. Probably one of the better removal spells just in general. Yeah. Dan has no blocks for uh, the mighty Dragon Lord of Jutai, so he's going to beat in and allow Justin to get a free card. Ouch. Jeez. This is this, very... Yep, this is where it turns. This is reminiscent of when uh, Niv-Mizzet, older Niv-Mizzet, yep. uh, saw some play. Tap, is... tap to uh, draw a card. Yeah. When a new draw, you deal damage. Sure. Something like that, right? I'll take it. Or is it the other way around? Uh, well, the new one was like, play a, pay a red, play a blue, shoot something... Draw, draw card. card. Yeah. The other one was uh, tap him, deal a damage draw card. Okay. And then you could just combo off was with a uh, curiosity. I think, uh, I think it's the other way. Or was it? Oh no, I it was tap he... tap draw. Whenever you draw a card, you, you deal, deal one, one damage. Yeah. Yes. So Correct. essentially, essentially the same. Oh, what does Dan got? And here we go. Uh -oh. The Patriot missile launches. That's that's under the radar, I bet. Coincidentally, I that I don't that, know if Justin was expecting that. The four life is really good that he gained from that. Just it is. Foul Tongue Invocation is too strong. Yeah, agreed. We're going to see and anticipate, though. So, again, Justin looking for that kill spell. Yep. Get rid of that Manus Rider. Yeah, that Foul Tongue, though. Thank you, guys. If you're just tuning in tonight, this is round four or five uh, here for FNM and Nerd Rage Gaming. Uh, you got Dan Cardenas on Jess Gallagher versus Justin Brickman, Esper Dragons. Both players 2 and 1 here going in to the finals after this. Yep. We'll see uh, what that brings for us. Yeah, I, everybody's been hoping for a uh, a showdown it's, here. It's so. poised to be pretty good if if all things break the right way. It, yeah, if we if we think uh, what happens is gonna happen, you'll see a uh, just a heater. Looks God. like uh, a kill spell was lined up for that. I can't tell Patriot you. Patriot missile and another Ojutai attack gets us another anticipate. I, I mean, this e. this is a dragon after my own heart. Yep, things good. I'll give you that. You made a white blue dragon. It does everything I want it to. And yeah. Dan's gonna scoop it up in face of the dragon lord. Sure you gotta is. bow before the mighty. That's what happens, Agreed. man. Agreed. And this will go on to game three as Justin picks up game two. Man, this was good, man. This is this is kind of a match I I wanted. This is a this is our first game three of the night. Uh, and and we kind of expected it. You've got Esper Dragons, kind yep. of the top dog in the format, versus Jess Gyagro, a deck. Uh, designed to kind of handle mm -hmm. the matchup, really take it to him with threats, like you said, Manus Rider coming under the radar a little bit, mm -hmm. Thunderbreak Regents just getting square in damage. I think Dan yeah. just needs to have answers to Foul Tongue Invocation. Yeah. Again, he... I don't know if he brought in his, his control, his sure. counter spells, but if he does, he definitely has to make sure he's leaving up mana for them. Yeah. In the face of deploying his Thunderbreaks, they do literally nothing if He's tapped out and sure. can't counter Justin's Fall Tongues. So, again, now that he's on the play, it might change a little bit, but I still like having all those counter spells at the ready. Yeah, agreed. Even though they're 
reactive and not proactive. I think we can get the job done with one Storm Breath, maybe one or two Thunder Breaks. A, uh, a Soul Fire early would be nice, but, sure. you know, we're not, I don't know, we're not looking to, like, extend our board here and like, try and burn Justin out, because right. I, th I think he's got too many tools to prevent that. I think we just need a few quality threats and ways to protect them. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. I think game one, I don't want to call it a fluke on Dan's part, but Justin wasn't really drawing a lot of heat near yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah it Dan just, just so played out that Dan still had reliable threats. Yeah, he was just drawing all the things, yeah. just off the top. The, the so. gas was real. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, and if we see another game break like that, Dan's favored when he has, you know, counter spells in that, For sure. in that state, so. We shall see. Game right. three. I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping to see a little bit more Patriot Missile come out for uh, Mr. Cardenas here. I'd like to yeah. watch some of those Madness Riders get in, as those cards are just super hard for Justin to deal with, mm -hmm. and they demand removal. You can't get Lightning Bolted every turn. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, every single one of Dan's creatures, I think, just quality. Right. Just, like, really hard to deal with. Um, and if you don't, like, you lose. Desperate Dragon. There's only one dragon that matters. And we just saw him. Mm -hmm. His name was Dragon Lord of Jutai. Oh yeah. To to think otherwise would be just heresy, Ankle Shanker. So you should you should check yourself before the mighty. I still like Selimgar. Do you? I mean, he's a pug face, so he's got that going for him. I actually like his stats as well, though. Oh, do you? <laughs> does he draw me cards? Is he in blue? Does he draw me cards? Is he in blue? And does he have hexproof? He does in one mode actually have yeah. hexproof. Yeah, and yeah. he is blue. The so combination of the two could potentially do all those things very for true. you. Yes. Yeah. So here we go. Dan's going to lead off with a mountain and pass the turn to Justin. He says, go ahead. Also, Quince, a good good, good way to really look at uh, the play style of Mr. Cardenas here is he likes to get inside of his opponent's head, likes to keep him chatting, <laughs> likes to keep the conversation going at the table, sure. keep him distracted. Hey. And I will tell you, as a control player, there is nothing more annoying. But now Dan on double, double red. red. I cannot agree with this. Uh, unless he's got his other colors and he's just slow rolling it. But Ooh, I don't think there's a mana. I don't think there's a mana strider in our future, though. Maybe we'll see like a rabble out of nowhere, though. It, it, it drew, drew natural blue off the top, so well, of course he did. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's Dan Card. Yeah, welcome to this. Um, oh, man, but we're not playing anything until turn four. Dan, we had an early start last time. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm I can't say I'm, I'm huge start. on this. Because if we're just gonna cast a storm breath here with our mana confluence into open mana, I am going to be sad, and Dan's gonna take a damage, and this might be a mana rider. Yep, there it we will go. Be. Is uh, there a response from don't, Justin? Don't though? imagine we counter it. Imagine if he's got bioblight. That's ideal. I don't. Yeah. So no. Just gonna take Get three, in. I guess. This is a card that really gets under Esper Dragon's skin. I mean, it allows you to dodge ultimate price. Mm-hmm. Just dodges ultimate price. Um. Drown in Sorrow doesn't just touch like, it. Again, like, one of those things where if you have counter up for it, mm -hmm. it's not really ideal to be countering creatures right. if you've got the Biolites and the Downfalls to, to deal with those things. For sure. Saving counters for, you know, spells. Ooh, Justin did bring in the Narset, though. Oh, yeah. and it could come down here on a timely turn four. It's about to get spicy, yeah. I'd be interested in seeing that. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. All, no? those, all those foul tongues... I mean, there's a just lot the here, just but full. maybe I want some advantage. Give me some card draw. I don't know. We could potentially lose our Narset if we play it now. It is dead to Stoke Manus Rider. That's true. You're not wrong. So, Justin, yep, just leaving up mana to deal with what Dan's doing, which I, I agree with more. Just no, no, real, no real reason to be proactive here. Yeah, but there's not even a reaction from Dan. Like, Dan didn't even reach for his... Okay, so now he's saying, wait, I might have a response, but I don't. So instead, I'm going to cast a Thunderbreak Regent that you cannot counter here. Yeah, that seems fine. Because now you need to answer this with spot removal. Right. And pay, sure no. paying four mana to do at least three is... Yep. Uh, you're a start, I guess. It's, it's a little dismal. I hope it does a little more work, but yeah. Now, in the face of all the mana, Dan kind of... If he has counter spells, sure. he can start doing stuff. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now, can Dan protect this? Wait to see if he reveals a dragon before you snap that counter spell out of your hand. There he goes. He's yes. showing you the dragon yeah, lord. Absolutely. Uh, looks like he's got a disdainful stroke, and that's it. So, I believe this Thunderbreak oh, is no. just dead, and instead of doing any damage Dan, to Justin, it just it gives just him dies. four. Yeah, it just and gives him four life. 
So not an ideal time to deploy. Where's the negates, buddy? Yeah, we need a negate real bad there. All right, he's going to let it drop. Mr. Brickman going to go up to 23 after the Foul Tongue Invocation. We yep. know the Dragon Lord is in hand. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's making an appearance soon as I well. I would have to believe so. This card is just bananas. Although Dan does have that disdainful stroke. He does. The so question is, is will... That's the start, I think. If if Justin just runs out this Ojutai... Um, is that the beginning of the end? I don't think it's the beginning of the end. It certainly swings this game back from just being in Justin's favor completely. For sure. Um... And then again, he'll be tapped out. I imagine Dan will have something along the lines of another Thunder Break. Perhaps he, a Storm I, Breath. I, I'm not even kidding. I think he has two more Thunder Breaks in his hand. All right. So <laughs> that that would be the ideal play uh, yeah. for Dan here is that is that Justin just decides to run this thing out. Sure. Uh, but we'll see. Justin, I believe, sitting on a bunch of other Foul Tongues. It looks like, uh-oh, getting greedy. Here, here it comes. Is he getting punished here? Here, here comes Speed Racer. Oh, uh oh no, Dragon Lord or Jutai? Yep, that thing is countered, my friend. Oh, and there, there is the downfall of my Dragon Lord. Yep, not the best uh, appearance that game. Uh, for unfortunately, him. you do have to tap out for him. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's the do. painful part. It no, is no Cavern of Souls here on dragons. And no, there's, a th there's no. another Thunder Break. Here we go. It's starting. Well, the problem Again, is. Justin with oh, a bunch of foul tongues. Maybe even another Ojutai. I don't even know, but... It's possible? Looks like he's got a foul tongue and a scorn. Sure. I don't know if he's got a dragon in hand, though. Certainly a lot of quality cards if he did. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. Oh, I believe he does have another Ojutai. Oh, no. So I think he'll he'll play this one a little safer. Dan, we got to protect this guy. Get him in. Yeah, so Justin, I believe, holding another Ojutai. Oh, he is. Gonna Dan, there's the negate. Tongue. Can you follow it up here, though? So I guess that first Ojutai makes a little more sense. Uh, uh, if you're Dan here, you fire off this negate, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. For sure. Uh, I don't... No! How, when's it getting any better? It's not. What, it's, what, it's else, not. Is there, what else do I Dan do needs to... Yeah, there we go. Fire the negate off. All right. Show he wants me to fight, yeah, Solgar Scorn. All okay. the counter spells, sure. I will reveal this dragon as well for Solgar Scorn. Sure. Your spell is countered. Yeah, you're countered. There you go. That's fine. Yeah, oh yeah. Still I mean, your opponent's going to gain some life, but... Still you got the cards out of his hand. Yeah, you got to stay in it. Oh, now we need that follow-up Rabble Master. <laughs> well, yeah, now now's the time for Dan to, to land something, and right. it'll probably go uncontested. Uh, he can't... Justin can't counter it. Uh, I believe that's his last foul tongue. Yep. Again, just tapping out for Ojutai. And there's the Dragon Lord. Dan's gonna pump fake a counter spell. Yeah. Say nope. He resolves. No, he's good to go. Just gonna hope to burn him out when you attack with him. Man, I guess. Got to do something, guys. If you're just tuning in, thank you so much for joining the channel tonight. We really appreciate it. Uh, I'm your host Andrew Downley. With me, I've got Matt Hausler in the booth. We're watching Dan Cardenas and his Jeskai Aggro deck take on Justin Brickman in his Esper Dragon deck uh, here in round four or five of FM. Uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. If you haven't already, please join the channel. We'd love to have you on board with everything that we do here for Nerd Rage Gaming Live. And this Oju tie. Uh oh. Oh! Uh oh. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. It's happening. Oh, that the is, dream is real. That is the quality threat I wanted. A nerd heard Chris called it. He said, "Baby, you play that Karanos, you slam some damage." That is that is the start. Oh man! That is the uh, the second start, the Dan second just, win for Dan. Dan just has to remember the triggers here. He just has to remember the triggers. Coincidentally, he's taking a ton of damage is, from this he guy. He is on a clock. Justin's sitting pretty with 26 life. So this Karanos will do a little bit of work, but you hope to draw some more gas. I would hope so. Yep. I really want to see this guy get in there and just start causing problems. Yep. Agreed. It's got to reveal a lot of quality spells. Yep. Dome Justin for three. Have those quality oh. spells do other work. We have so many f plays here. We could, like, draw step, shoot Ojutai for three, yep. and then, like, lightning strike him. Draw step. Yep. Reveal it. Three. Oh, what geez. are you going to shoot? Storm breast. Oh, oh baby. Happening. Do we just shoot our opponent? Do we shoot... Oh, look, he's got a lightning strike in hand. I think we... I think we got to get rid of Ojutai. Does he have a stoke for the dragon in hand? I see a uh, lightning... Oh, he may have a stroke. That may be his second red. Okay, but... He you do have to consider a few counter spells with Justin though. Oh god, he's got a ton of burn. 
So yeah, he's going to shoot the three at Ojutai. Lead with your small stuff here, yeah. So we're going to strike Ojutai. Yeah, all right. That's going to get countered. That's fine. We have other ways. Dan figuring out how to tap. He's got to be careful. He knows He knows he's got to leave at least double red up for another... Oh, fire it off, Dan. If he's got it. If put he's got three strikes, I think, yeah, that would do Put his dead. threat away. No, I think this last one here is going to be a stoke. Jeez. All right. Welcome to Karanos Town. Population lightning everywhere. All right, so Dan with a little two-for-one on himself, uh, but he got no Jutai off Look the field. Look at this. Sure, I'll take a land. I'll draw. Uh -oh. Boom. Here we go. Two cards per turn, baby. I love it. This is value. Justin with zero ways. All that. All those foul tongues looking... Uh, looking. Uh, what, how are you going to touch Karanos? Uh, you ain't got no card for Karanos. Uh, Ugin, I guess. Sure. <laughs> play, play your Ugin. Yeah. Into the might of the god of storms, please. Yeah, this is... This god, he's living. Dude, he is awesome. And this, this is, will this most is, likely be a storm breath trade. This again. is his, his third turn out. And Jeez. Uh, kind sure, of kind price. of playing that into death. Yeah, you, but, you had to kind of expect that. Sure. But that's fine. Karanos just going to draw us more cards. Eventually, yeah. we're going to have Bulchy advantage. Says, oh, God. It's happening. And he's got a negate now, too. I know. Oh, jeez. I love this card. Oh, if, I, I chat, if you're wondering why I'm getting so excited, it's because Karanos is pretty much one of my other favorite cards. Oh, so between man. Dragonlord or Jutai this match and Karanos landing, I, I'm going bonkers. Now we got eight mana and Ugin's offline. Oh. That, that's not a place you want to be. Right. Thanks, Negate. Thanks. <laughs> Negate, you're doing it. Negate is doing all the work right now. That's a good card. Let's hope Dan doesn't just negate the next thing Justin plays, though. I would hope not. Because, yeah, that's kind of where Justin's at now. I think he has to... <laughs> I think he's trying to bait out something. Justin's doing some calculations here. Maybe a man at the discrepancy. Dan wants to get this game underway. Well, he's starting. Karen is doing some work. Oh, he's adjusting with no no good. dragons to offer up. Sitting on a lot of foul tongues. Yep, tons of foul tongues. This this could just be the game where Karanos just bolts him to death over the course what of ten turns. So we got a we showed him a land. We're gonna draw an additional. Looks like we found an outpost siege. Cast it, baby. Yeah, fire that. Absolutely. Fire that sucker off. Oh my. Jeez, talk about card advantage. Let's draw some. So when we have Karanos and an outpost in play, yeah. and we, how do you want to stack those triggers? All right, so uh, I guess you there's, could stack them however you want, man. I, I mean, yeah, there's, yeah. there's no real, oh. there's no real advantage to do one way or the other. So Justin's gonna don't do it, Dan. Nap. He's let thinking it, let about him counter it. it. Just let him counter it. It's fine. Let it go. You, you don't care. Karanos. Yeah, you still yeah. have Karanos. It's fine. You're fine. He he can't he can't beat Karanos. <laughs> no, he can't. And you, he, the only way he beats Karanos is with Ugin. Yeah, he knows that, and he's he's oh, taking his boy. next opportunity to just counter whatever Dan does, so, and hoping he he counters it. Justin here trying to confuse Dan a little bit. We understand what he's doing. He's he's going to fetch in response to the Scry trigger. Yeah. Uh, Dan, a little concerned Which about this though. Dan can respond to that, but there's no reason to. Let it go, Dan. Just let, let him the outpost siege go. You've already landed Karanos. Just let him fetch. Don't say no. Don't point in his mana. Oh man, Justin doing a little a little mind game here. I think. Getting in Dan's head, saying, "All right, I'm gonna fetch first for sure to have mana up. Then you can decide if you want to counter it." Oh, Anders is correct. That's true. Karanos is on draw step. Okay. Not the beginning of your yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, again, either way, I don't think there's an ideal way to stack those if there was. Sure. I think it's it's all random off the top. Yeah. You, you can't, like, scry. There's no scry effect before right. you draw right. to, to make Karanos better. So, um, But, yeah, I don't... This this outpost siege is, is just, you know, excess fat. We but don't it, need it. We're, just we're let fighting it, over it a lot. Let but... it go. See the value of Karanos. Yeah. Because he was definite, he was definitely considering um, if he wanted to counter that in response to Justin's fetch. Right. Uh, but Justin still have four mana up. That's literally every counter spell he could just, still play anyway. Just believe in the God of Storms. Yeah. Baby. There's no reason. To, there's no reason to do literally any any thinking. Just, Justin's gonna go down to 22 after the fetch. Yep. 
So it looks like Dan just lets it happen. Don't get antsy, Dan. Yep. This is a this oh, is a control good on, card. Good on him. No. Wait. Oh. Ooh. That was close, yep. Dan. Oh, he's gonna let it happen. Yep. It's F and M. All right. So he drew disdainful stroke. All right. Well, now Notice. he can get a little more cute with his counters, I guess. I like it though. He he definitely brought I think, in his control I think I'm package. Still, I think I'm still holding two. You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. I'm not for sure. getting. I'm not getting super aggressive against this. Yeah. Agreed. So I'm gonna let Kiranos. So this will be a dig through time. Dan, be careful. Mm. Be mm. careful what you do, bud. I don't know about this. This one. Uh, I still think. Uh, you just oh hold him. Oh boy. I don't know. Dan's gonna go ahead and get the negate off. Well, I mean, he could still counter that Ugin. So he didn't, in fact, use the uh, counter spell that Justin knew about. Yeah. You know? So sure. well I think Justin Oh yeah, you're right. Justin does he not only knows know about, about the disdainful. So this is an Ugin. Dan says I have a response. Yep. Boom. There it is. We've eaten it. Dan looks happy. Look at that grin. Oh yeah. He, he knows. knows what he did. He knows. he knows. Flip that baby Dan. Rip it. Your Kiranos ah. trigger. Oh, he Dan, it. you're playing him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bud. You did it so well the first like four times. Oops. Don't stop doing it. That's okay. There you go. Justin's gonna say here. Mark with a die so you don't forget. There you oh, go. That is, that is how you handle that. Ugin off the top. I Boom. Know. Oh. oh, come on. Nope. Just more lands and more foul tongues. There we go. Land. Draw an additional card, Dan. You don't have to show him the next card you draw. There he goes. Now he's remembering it. All right. Now we're getting card advantage. Yep. Justin arguably should be at 19, but who knows if that matters? Oh, come on. You don't play the God of Storms and start missing triggers? No, I agree. What is this? I agree. It happens. All right, there he goes. So he's using the dice now. He says, sure. Oh, God, this card's good. Oh, you think? Jeez. Is, is that a Mattis Rider now? Well, I don't know. Is that what we drew? Does, does it even matter? No, just We're more just lands. Look at all the cards. So he has double stoke in his hand? Stop. I think I'd fire these off. I'll just start firing off these stokes. Yeah, I think I go. I think I start getting a little bit crazy I'm Not. Here. I'm not worried about... If he wants to counter my Stokes, great. Sure. Yeah. You're like, that's good. <laughs> then I just resolve a threat. Hmm. Guys, if, if you know Dan, then if you've ever met Dan Cardenas or played Magic against Dan Cardenas, you inevitably understand why Karanos is a hard card for him to use. <laughs> <laughs> it is a confusing card. It has a lot of text, lot and of he text. can attack with it. Yeah, but it's not all relevant. It's not. He uh, <laughs> he probably read the three damage have, to someone's dome and was like, you yeah. snap it off. You don't have to care about all that devotion nonsense. <laughs> That's not a thing. It's Dan's a low tech. Dan's a simple guy. Dan doesn't like uh, Dan doesn't like Phyrexian Arena because it makes him lose life. You know? Sure. That's it. See, he now wants... I I love Phyrexian Arena. Yeah. Because it lets me draw a card every. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to tell you guys a uh, a story in between rounds about me and Dan discussing the Cropidens. Oh jeez! Oh, bolt you! Um, do you? Oh man! Yeah, I was, I'm hoping to just see bolts for the remainder of yeah the, we start this to... game. Dan, start playing stuff, bro. Cause don't even be scared. Cause we're we're getting to to draw territory here. Scared us revealing only, oh, a lot right. of lands. Only four minutes left. Yeah, game three though. Oh, now Justin's like, this Soulfire Grandmaster is nuts now because we yeah, have so think? much mana. You think? Uh, I'll let's, activate let's its ability. Yeah. I'll, like, double stoke you. <laughs> yeah, that seems good. Let's see if Dan uh, plays uh, it right. He is. He's going to activate the ability at the end of Justin's turn. Perfect. Justin has to respond to the ability. Uh, well. That's fine. The ability still resolves. Correct. So so Dan looking, reaching for the mana here. Stoke in response. <laughs> Just do it, Dan. Fire it, Dan. Make him counter it. Rip it and grip is it. He do, is he activating it again? No. What? Why? What? It, what is happening? Does he, does, maybe he doesn't understand what... So, alright. He's convoking. He's gonna take too good to eight. Ugh. What? So now we're stoking? Okay. Alright. So that comes back to your hand. Unless Justin counters it. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Here comes the Eldrazi. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I wish. <laughs> You're not even kidding. Not quite though. Dan's gonna go to twelve. Uh, sunk four mana for no reason though. That's all right. Maybe he was confused. We'll flip. Didn't have shoot to, you. Didn't have to act. Okay, gets it back anyway. Jeez. Doesn't even matter. 
And this is the, all those lanes we drew with Kyrnos where we just drawing extra cards. Whatever, it's yeah. fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, seems great. Play that. Play Sign that other Soulfire. There yeah. you go. Yeah, he know. He knows now. He saw it. Dan understands. Dan understands the Kyrnos. Look at him. He's counting his lands here. He's like, God, I don't want to lands. Where's Sphinx's Revelation? Yeah, I know. Let me just dump this into Sphinx's right now. Wow, jeez. This 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 would still be like game one. If Sphinx was in this format yeah, still, because Justin would just have it main deck, and then these Jeskai decks would also just have it main deck. Have it main deck. <laughs> <laughs> just, they'd both be at like 40. They'd each have like 10 cards in hand. <laughs> like, no thanks. Come on, Chris. You know Dan. You know how he operates. A lot of these cards are confusing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan here going to activate Soulfire's ability once again. Th uh, twice. Why, he did, why he is he doing it twice? twice. Ugh. So are we are we countering this now? Oh, okay. Why did we tap? We are, we are countering it. No dragon to reveal. Dan down to nine. So he said, "I'm going to Silmgar scorn your counter spell. I'm going to pay with it for one. You're going to take four. I'm going to gain four. Sure. Seven to thirteen. My guy's dead." Ooh, the spell goes back to his hand, Bolchia. Oh, oh <laughs> baby, Karanos gets there. He certainly does. And that is it, man. Dan Cardenas cleans it up off the back of the God of Storms. Jeez. Man, that was a good game. Yeah. Congratulations to both those players. That was amazing. That was that was that actually was, really good. It was I mean, super good round. It was very grindy early on. Yeah. Dan got a Karanos, though. And that's that was, it. That and that's it. it. As uh, as I mean, Dan Chris missed. Dan missed a few triggers with that Karanos. He was confused. He a was bit. double activating Soulfire for some reason. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure why that Still happened. Still got there. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. So, now he'll figure it out. Man, he'll good. he'll he'll watch the video. What a good game, though. He doesn't have to activate it twice. Just but one time will do. So guys, we've only got like 37 seconds left in this round. It's perfect. But we'll we'll talk about some stuff real quick before we head out there and get the finals prepared which guys if we know anything this could be a uh, this could be a Matt Dow battle against Evil Sliwa Evil Ben Sliwa and Matt Dow no pressure I mean that that is going to be just something we'll see Oh jeez, that was a great game. I was I was really happy. First of all, I'm happy that the Karanos came in. Yeah, as Chris called it. I mean, that was nuts. Yeah, it was really good. They just have no way to deal with it once it lands, and it just goes bananas on them. Won the game. Yeah, That's quality. Pretty, pretty much. Super good he job. Got it there. right on time too. Oh yeah, I it was mean, it was perfect timing. I don't think it could have gotten better. Yeah. That was that was a solid match. Good game three there at the end. Mm -hmm. I mean, jeez. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I hope we. I hope we get the finals. I hope we get that. Uh, that Dow Sliwa matchup. We'll see, it's, man. It's what dreams are made of. I keep talking about they, it. It I, has I, I, to. Well, like happen. I need it to happen. Coincidentally, like Daniel said, Daniel Pennington. He he popped the question. Important questions. Who do you got? Mayweather or Pacquiao? We could go right now. Who do you got? Sliwa or Dow? Ooh. Well, that's, Fire it off, man. Oh, Let's get. If, if, God, I hope it's the finals. I'm freaking out. <sighs> oh boy. Um. Oh, shoot. This is oh, this is on film now too. You have to say this. No, it is. I'm well, actually. That's why I'm thinking about oh, okay. it so hard. Um, I'll answer the Pacquiao. Yeah, you want to do that uh, one first? We can first. answer that one. That's uh, Pacquiao. Yeah, yeah, totally Pacquiao. Yeah. I think we talked about this yesterday. At that's dinner. easy. It this, is easy. This F and M final. That's yes. come on, dude. Don't put me on the spot. hundred like percent. Daniel Pennington. Pacquiao. All the way. Yep. Mayweather Absolutely. is a, Mayweather. What it, what was the quote yesterday from Tyson? Mayweather is a small, scared man. Oh shit. That is, I mean, yeah. Well, if you're Mike Tyson, I think you can say that. Yeah, pretty sure. confidently. Why? Because you feel like you're like one of the best heavyweight boxers. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. exactly <laughs> why. <Yeah. laughs> All right. That that dude is huge. Oh yeah, he is uh, a very large individual, and he's scary. He's somewhat scary. He yeah, seems like a nice man to talk to sometimes. I'm sure. But, like yeah. I, I, I wouldn't want to fight him. I mean, no. I'm, I'm assuming no, his me neither. Is pretty quick. So, uh, I don't know. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to get a little action in on this? I think. I think I'm gonna hedge Keep my bets. Yeah. I think I'm gonna hedge my bets on Dow only because mm -hmm. I think that Bant Heroic's matchup against Abzan is halfway decent. Sure. Yeah, no. I mean that being said, I don't know if it'll be a cakewalk if Ben keeps good hands. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think there's 
a a great matchup either way. Sure. I think Abzan on average just wins fifty five percent of the time. Yep. Just in general. I think yeah, I think it's just gonna come down to opening hands, play lines, um and draws if, most yeah, likely. Yeah, like if like, Dow just has all the answers, he's gonna win. If Ben's just able to out Rhino out remove, just keep up with him. You know, it could break either way, honestly. Yeah. I uh so I'm just gonna go for whoever you like against. Okay. You. So you're taking you're I'm taking just, evil. Season. I'm just gonna make it interesting. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Um. Because yeah, honestly, it it does seem just pretty much split down the middle. It, yeah. It really would be an epic match. And uh, with all this talking we're doing about it, uh, <laughs> God, I hope it's happening. If it's not happening, we'll be. Yeah. It's gonna be awkward. Yeah, it'll be. It, it will least. be awkward. Coincidentally, yeah. hopefully they're playing each other. I yeah. mean, both yeah, of them are super good players. They were three and zero going into uh, round four, so I'm. Yep. I'm they, hoping it'll happen. They either both win or they both lose, and then they'll still probably and then play each still other. Play. In which case, we'll still throw it out. Oh yeah, for sure. Match. For well, guys, sure. that was the end of round four. We'll be going to the final shortly, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, this will be great here. I can't wait. All right, guys, we'll be back with you in a little bit.